Okay, I filmed a similar clip like this before the last vlog, but I just wanted to jump on here really fast before we get into the vlog and let you guys know that I'm trying to get better at filming like more flight attendant content, if you will, to add into the vlogs. I'm sorry if the AC is loud. It is very hot. It is 95 degrees outside. Um, but obviously I don't really know how it's to, clear at 90. but obviously I don't really know how to do that yet. I'm going to try to do better at it going forward. But as you may or may not know, this vlog was filmed four weeks prior to this clip I'm filming right now. So just want to let you know, it's more so exploring the cities and hotel rooms and not as much, um, flight attendant content. So yeah. Welcome back to the start of a new vlog. I'm in Seattle today. So I'm in my hotel room. I just got here. Our flight out of New York was mm, the 7.05 a.m. flight. And we landed in Seattle at 10.10 10 Pacific time. I got dressed already. As you can see, I'm wearing just like a white tank top, these like green khaki cargo pants, some Nikes, this oversized blackish denim jacket. I thought I'd show you the room. So this is the... This is the bathroom. I already put my bathroom stuff in here. I'm literally gonna take a burning hot, scalding, blasting hot shower there later tonight. And then this cute little mirror, that's a closet. We have two beds. I've been lounging on that one a lot, just on my phone and stuff. Not an insane view, but a nice, just a nice view out the window over there. And then the desk area, I put all my food in the mini fridge and up there. And then my luggage is all out and stuff. And this huge TV, which I don't know if I'll use unless it's a smart TV. Anyway, um, I thought I'd come on here and just kind of open things up. So I have this two-day trip, this Seattle trip right now. And then I fly back tomorrow. So it's noon here in Seattle. I fly back to New York tomorrow. And then start my A days, which are my reserve days. I have three reserve days in a row, and I have no idea what they could put on my schedule yet. I did bid for some stuff. Each time I've had my A days so far, I've been awarded something I've bid for. Nothing crazy, like they're not giving me international <laughs> trips on my A days, but I, that's when I got my LAX layover uh, a couple weeks ago. And actually on my last set of A days, I got another LAX layover that I bid for, but they ended up switching me on to something else because they needed coverage on something else and at the end of the day that's what your reserve days are all about right but um anyway I've been awarded what I asked for twice so I'm hoping that I can get what I asked for this time around so we'll see um but I wanted to say so our hotel is not in downtown Seattle like I'm nowhere near like the Space Needle or like that like Ferris wheel thing on the water I'm nowhere near Pike's Place and I thought our hotel was gonna be a little close to downtown Seattle. We're in a different area of Seattle that's beautiful and there's a huge mall right across the street. I'm just gonna go to that. But my aunt originally was gonna pick me up and take me out to lunch because my aunt and uncle live in the area. I was really excited about that, but something last minute, big time changed in their schedule and they unfortunately could not do it last minute. But I'm gonna see if I can swap on to another Seattle layover this month so that I can hang out with them because they'll take me around the town and stuff. But I personally don't want to pay $40 to Uber eight miles to get to Pike's Place, okay? Not into that. And I'm just a little exhausted. If Sam were here, like, you know how Sam has been able to meet me at some of my layovers? If Sam were here, I would have him, him and I both go into the city. But since it's just me, I'm just gonna, like, kind of lay low. I'm gonna walk over to the mall, eat some lunch. There's a movie theater there. I doubt I'm gonna see a movie, but... You know, there's always that chance, who knows? And probably lay low. Sa Stranger Things, the two, the volume two, season four, volume two, the season finale episodes or episode or whatever, they just dropped last night. So I know later tonight, Sam and I are gonna FaceTime date, watch them together. So yeah, that's about all I know. But I thought I'd take you along with me because I think um, hopefully there could be adve some adventures this next five days with Seattle today and then my reserve day starting in two days could go anywhere, so we'll see. Wow, this lighting is very much not attractive. As you can expect though, I found Barnes and Noble. Did not buy anything, unfortunately. Which genuinely I'm sad about because they were having a 25% off sale the entire store. And I'm also not sad about it because I have zero room in my bags for books. However, I was hoping to find one, but you know, I digress, it's fine, it's not a big deal. 
all I'm saying is I don't pick the lighting, okay? God does that. Really unflattering again. I went to this place called Tra, I don't even know how to pronounce it, tea and juice bar, and I got a matcha latte with boba, a strawberry matcha latte with boba. You know what would have been better if it was like raspberry or blackberry, but it does taste really good, I cannot lie. And I would certainly recommend to anyone who's in the Bellevue area. I came to like Bellevue Park downtown or something like that because I Googled stuff to do in Bellevue. And so that's why I came here. Really nice day out. The thing is I really, really, really have to pee. And there's like about 10 million porta potties in this park because I think they're setting up for something that they're probably doing on the 4th of July. Do I degrade myself enough to go into a porta potty or do I do what I usually do and impressively hold my pee for a very long time? That is the question. Because I want to enjoy this weather and the sun. I want to get more freckles on my face. Don't worry, I'm wearing sunscreen, but I want to get more freckles on my face and get some sun, but I really have to pee. There are two pieces of good news here. Number one, I found a regular bathroom and was able to go pee. Number two, I don't know if you can tell, but I did get freckles a lot more on my chin and on my chest, on my face. I fell asleep under the sun for about 10 minutes. It's a good thing that I woke up though because I was just out in public in the sun. Not very safe, but this park is beautiful. I was really bummed that we weren't in downtown Seattle and I'm still bummed like I wish I could go there for cheaper than a $40 Uber. However, this area is beautiful. Kind of like falling in love with it in the two or three hours I've been walking around the city. It's really beautiful. There's one piece of bad news though and that is that my phone is at like 20% battery and I didn't bring my external charger. I already know what I want to do for dinner. I think I'm just gonna door dash Jinya ramen because that's like my favorite ramen ever. But I don't want to go back to my hotel room just yet so I'm gonna see how long it can stretch this 20% battery. I went back to the mall, walked around Uniqlo, Zara, Sephora, probably spent like an hour and a half there. And then I came back to this park. I don't know if you can see the park, but I came back to the park. And I just love being in the sun. Decided I'd hang out here, but I'm gonna leave in a few minutes because Sam and I are going to have Stranger Things FaceTime date. I think I mentioned that earlier. And I'm gonna order, as I mentioned earlier also, Jinya Ramen DoorDash. I'm really excited about that. So I'm in between Stranger Things episodes. The first one was an hour and a half long and this next one is two hours and 20 minutes long. Um, as I was saying, Sam and I are like FaceTiming while watching it. I had Jinya Ramen. It's the Flying Vegan Harvest Ramen. I would like sell my soul for that. It's so good. <laughs> I love, I love Jinya Ramen. I think it's actually my favorite ramen I've ever tried. Anyway, we're in between Stranger Things episodes. Sam went to go get himself food back in back at home not sure what he's getting that's besides the point i'm sitting in the bed which is funny because usually i like to sleep in that bed i don't know if it's like the safety factor of like the wall being there and me being able to like kind of be hidden behind the wall girl i don't know what trauma from my past is coming up with that statement anyway i decided to sleep on this bed closer to the window and i'm sitting on this bed i'm realizing i think i can see mount rainier out my window and I don't know if you've ever flown into Seattle, but if you're on the correct side of the aircraft, I'm not sure which one it is, you can see Mount Rainier from the window as you're like descending. I've been to Mount Rainier when I came here to visit my aunt and uncle three, four years ago. I think it was 2018, so it was almost four years ago. And it's beautiful, but I just wanted to show you guys. It's probably not gonna be good quality because I'm not to zoom in hardcore, but I wanted to show you guys that I think I can see it from my window. It could be any other mountain too, I'm not exactly sure but I wanna say it's Mount Rainier, just cause I've been there. So I'm really hoping that you can tell 
But do you see that mountain top at, over there? Like you can tell, right? Oh yeah, there it is, it cleared up. Look at that, and that's from my freaking window. Isn't that cool? You want to get into the glamorous life of a flight attendant? You want to get into, better yet, <laughs> you want to get into the glamorous life of a YouTuber who forgot how to vlog? Let's do it. Okay, so it's actually, I think, nine o'clock. Yeah, and I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. I have a shorter layover here. I landed, we got to the hotel around six, I think. I door dashed some food. And then I proceeded to spend even more money on door dash because I needed candy. I got it admit it now i think i've gotten to the point where i can come to terms with the fact that i am addicted to sugar to a certain extent i think all of us are to a certain extent especially on like the american diet but it's gone a little bad recently it's gotten a little bad recently i've always always had a sweet tooth but a little bit off the charts my intention was to vlog this entire like eight days that i'm working but my first trip was in lax and as i've said on the vlog before i just go home and visit my parents and it's super peaceful so there wasn't really anything to vlog. And then I had a day off in New York where I stay part-time when I'm working. And I walked to an Orange Theory, worked out, went and got lunch, came back, showered, and then went to see a movie called Miss Harris Goes to Paris. And I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, it was so wholesome and sweet. And I cried like almost three times, I think. I don't know if you watched the bad yet addicting show, Emily in Paris, but the the guy in that, and I forget his name in the show, but in real life, his name is like Lucas Bravo, I think. He was in that movie. Anyway, he's really hot. <laughs> um, moving on. Then I had this three day trip. Um, the funny thing is my roommate, one of my crash pad roommates in New York was on this trip with me and he's so much fun. I love him a lot. So. We are on this trip together, so we went from JFK to Orlando, Orlando to Atlanta, and then Atlanta to Charleston, and this is our layover. Tomorrow we go to Charleston to Atlanta, then Atlanta to San Diego. We have a long layover in San Diego. Sam's actually gonna fly out and meet me. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do yet. He does work, by the way, when he comes to meet me, just in case anyone was wondering. Sam can work remotely, so he will work in the airport, on the airplane, and then usually finish a few hours in the hotel or whatever. He'll probably work for a few hours. Maybe I'll take a nap because I'll be really tired. We have a really early report time tomorrow. I have to be, a... the van pickup time is 5.30, so I have to wake up at four tomorrow. And we'll find something to do. It's his birthday this coming Monday, so maybe we'll find like a birthday thing for him to do in San Diego. I'm not 100% sure. And then on the day, the end day, we just fly from San Diego to JFK, and that's the end of the trip. And then I just have like, and one night off and then I have another LAX. Our schedules came out the other day and I literally swapped mine around like crazy. <laughs> um, I managed to get another international for next month. I'm really excited about that because as you guys know, I had my London in June. I didn't have any, any international in July and then next month I was able to snag an international trip. I will leave that. I will leave that as a mystery for now. You'll see a vlog obviously on it later, but I'm very excited. And I'm hoping to maybe swap into another one. Maybe I can get two. We'll see. But I like crazy swapped my schedule around to have basically like six days off at one point and then another six days off at another point, which I think is going to be absolutely brilliant. And I'm really excited for that. Basically now though, I'm just going to get in the shower and then basically go to sleep. <laughs> And so there's nothing real exciting to talk about right now, but I'm gonna try to fill you guys in tomorrow. Wish me luck because last night I could not sleep. So I only had like three hours of sleep. And this was a very long work day today. Basically I had to be at the airport, which means I was working, starting work at 6 a.m., 6.20. I think we got there at 5, 5.50ish, but we technically had to be there at 6.20. And then I ended at five. And this was all in Eastern time, so. It was all same time zone. So that's like almost 11 hours of work. So anyway, I'm exhausted. As you can probably hear in my voice, I'm just tired. I'm not feeling my best just because it's been a long day with not a lot of sleep. So I'm in a shower, wash my face, brush my teeth, come lay down, read. By the way, you guys know, people that have been around on my channel for a long time know that I am a big reader. Right now I'm rereading, what is it called? Aurora Burning by Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff. 
I've read the first two books. I think it's like Aurora's, Aurora, I forget the first one, but it's, I'll put a picture of it right here. But I finally want to finish the series. The third one came out late last year and I want to read it. I really like uh, this sci-fi series. So I'm reading that and I'm going to try to remember to fill you guys in on what I'm reading as well along with these vlogs just to kind of like give you little little tidbits on my life when it comes to reading. Anyway, that's all for now. I thought that I would maybe give you a hotel room tour even though I've made this place a disaster already but you have the like door and you walk in there's this seating area which I obviously won't use. Here's the bed that I decided that I will be sleeping in. <laughs> Here's the TV that will not get turned on. Here's my suitcase. Here's the bed that will be used to throw my stuff on. Here's a dresser. Hello. Here is a closet, which I took the little thing out to put my suitcase on. So no need for the closet anymore. This um, lovely hotel has a freezer. So I have meals that I bring and I have little ice packs that I bring. And so I don't think this freezer is like actually a real good freezer, but it'll help keep everything really cold. It'll help kind of reheat, reheat, not reheat, refreeze a little bit, those ice packs. And then here's the bathroom. It's kind of big. This hotel room is actually kind of big. It's a stand-up shower. It has this very, very, very interesting towel holder up there, like a lot of character to that. I'm just now realizing that I have not used a Q-tip and yet there is a Q-tip in this and I'm a little disturbed. I promise you I have not used a Q-tip, so don't love that for me. Anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pretend like it's not a big deal and I'm going to take a shower. I, I just can't get over it. <laughs> I can't get over this thing. All right, it's 5.20. I've been up since four. It's time to head downstairs for our van pickup. But I thought I'd check in because I'm trying to get better at vlogging again and it's really hard to do while I'm working, but I'm like, I need to put in some clips here. So, good morning. I'm about to head downstairs for the van pickup and I will try to some clips in today before I get to San Diego. Before I get to San Diego. <laughs> came to San Diego. Look who came to visit me. Came out, baby. <laughs> That's our new thing. Every time he comes on a layover, we're gonna say that exact same thing every time. I'll have to think of something new to say each time. I don't know about don't that. Know. <laughs> so I've been here for like almost two hours maybe, maybe less, maybe an hour and a half. We're gonna go get some lunch at this burger place and then we made reservations for an Italian place tonight. We have zero plans beyond that though. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably walk around, maybe go walk down by the beach or something. I have a really early morning flight tomorrow. We like have a van pick up again at 5.30, kind of like this morning. So not gonna be out late or anything, but I wanted to like obviously Visit enjoy the, the weather. beach, yeah, and enjoy the weather. It's like perfect Best right now. Honor, you know? That's what they say. <laughs> also, forgot to mention that today is apparently day one of Comic Con, and I've always wanted to come to San Diego Comic Con. Never been able to. Won't really get to experience it this year, but maybe another year. If there's one thing you know about me, it's gonna be that I'm still gonna vlog even when the lighting is very bad. We went to this place called the Nibble. <laughs> the Nibble. I don't know. It's a vegan chocolate place. Sam got a horchata chocolate drink. I got some truffles, they were very good. Our burgers were also very good. I got like a Impossible Burger or something and Sam, I don't know, just some burger. I don't really count those things because it's not vegan so I don't think about it. <laughs> we're trying to think about what to do next. It's 3.20 and our dinner reservation's at eight. And I think our dinner reservation is in the area we're kind of already in. That doesn't mean we need to stay in this area, I'm just saying we know where we're coming back to. But we're thinking of maybe walking to where Comic-Con is, just to like, like look at it, scope it out, or finding a beach to walk on. We shall see. So we walked around the Comic Con area for a long time and it was fantastic. I really wish we could go. Yeah. Maybe next year it we'll was, find time. It was popping. There, there was, was so many amazing costumes. Um, I also got shorts from Urban Outfitters, which was nice because the pants were not doing it for me today. 
Um, and then, I don't really know, we've been walking back to the hotel area. Walking along the bay. Walking along the bay area. And I think we might just go back to the hotel for a little bit before we go to dinner, but I'm worried I'm gonna fall asleep, so I've gotta stay awake. So, after dinner, we got some salt and straw. There's one like right across the street in that area in Little Italy. It's delicious. It's amazing, but I'm very tired, so we're headed back to the hotel now. <laughs> 